Welcome to the Amazing Car News Channel. The new Z, it has no numbers in its name this time, will cost about the same as the 2003 350Z, adjusted for inflation, of course, and rides on the same wheelbase as the 2020 370Z. But it's upped horsepower to 400 horsepower from a twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6. Its main target is the Toyota Supra, and it goes on sale next spring. When we first tested the 2003 Nissan 350Z, we heralded its unrivaled combination of price and performance. Bringing 287 horsepower for less than $27,000, the reborn Z was an instant hit, re-establishing Nissan as a maker of serious sports cars. Now, almost 20 years later, we're feeling that same excitement for the next Z car, the 2023 Z factoring for inflation, its base price, about $40,000, is that same as that of the 2003 350Z. So is the basic layout, with two seats, rear-wheel drive, and a six-speed manual transmission. But now you get 400 horsepower, from a twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6. That's the kind of inflation we can get behind. Built on a much-modified version of the current FM platform and riding on the same 100.4-inch wheelbase as the outgoing 370Z, the new Z. Yeah, it's just, Z, now uses the VR30 DDT TV6 from the Infinity Red Sport 400 models. Making 400 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute and 350 pound-feet of torque from 1,600 to 5,200 revolutions per minute, the sweet 3.0 liter features direct injection and variable valve timing, running up to 14.7 PSI a boost. Manual models get a carbon fiber driveshaft, an Exidy performance clutch, and automated reverend matching on downshifts, while Zs with the 9-speed automatic have aluminum paddle shifters and available launch control. When we tested the Z's 4-seat Infinity Cousin, the Q60 Red Sport 400, it ran from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, and that car had a 7-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. The Z, a full foot shorter than the Q60 and presumably hundreds of pounds lighter, should hound the Toyota Supra 3.0, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, in even its base sport trim. Keeping the decision simple, there are really no standalone options among the three trims. The Z Sport is your entry-level model, but it's not a stripped-out husk built strictly to tout that $40,000 price point. The Z Sport gets the same powertrain as the other Zs, along with a customizable 12.3-inch TFT instrument display cloth seats with synthetic suede inserts, and a full cadre of safety nannies and driver assistance gear that any self-respecting Z driver won't actually need. Z performance models add some interior upgrades, like heated leather seats and an 8-speaker Bose stereo system, two more than the sport's audio setup, but most of the package contains actual performance gear, stiffer suspension, a limited slip differential, and beefier brakes. Up front, Four piston calipers grip 14.0-inch rotors, while the 13.8-inch rear rotors are squeezed by two piston sliding calipers. The performance replaces the Sport's 18-inch wheels with lightweight 19-inch forged raise wheels wearing staggered Bridgestone Potenza S007 tires, 255s up front and 275s on the rear. Thank for watching.